G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. In the very exciting last episode of this series, uh, we decided to make a item, an item randomizer, and it was formed in the shape of a frog. I'll show you. Hang on a sec. We need to get up all over here. Hang on, hang on. I'm just going to go in there. Hang on. I need to slow myself down or I'm going to die into Randy's stomach. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we copped, yeah, we got the random note given to us, which was make the nether better. Um, that noise, I don't know why that happened. It doesn't matter. Um, I hate the nether. I don't want to go to the nether. Let me show you why I hate the nether so much. Okay, we'll go down into the observatory here. There is a portal in here. Uh, I am going to put on armor because I know that I get attacked every time I go in here. And just everything about this place is unsafe and it's horrible. And I've even gone as far as to try and like put up glass barriers and things like that to save me from the horrible um, you know, ghasts that spawn and all the rest of it. But and, and these pathways that go down that allow me to walk, but there are gaps in them somewhere, I don't know where, and I keep getting attacked by blazers and things. So I need to come up with a way to make this better. I don't, there's a gap there somewhere, I don't know where, there's a gap here somewhere and I don't know where, but it just, there are mobs, there you go, see that skeleton to the right just saw me as I went past, and it just, it's just horrible all the way through. So I think I'm going to automate all of this. See, up there, there's a fortress that I now despise. I keep getting attacked. Um, and then there's a there's a portal out that way that I haven't even connected yet. So I need to do all of this. Let me get to work. I'm going to get into it straight away. Actually, before I do, there is one other major problem, that, and that's what I was talking about before. I'll go into free cam and show you. So this portal down here is actually pretty close to Effendale, and sometimes I want to go to Effendale and to that portal. So I realistically, I need to build some sort of connection from that up to here, which is gonna be a nightmare. I don't, I, how am I gonna do this? I just, I, 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 I don't wanna keep saying how much I hate the nether, but I just hate it so much. Um, I guess I could fly down in this fortress just filled with horrible stuff. Oh, no, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. You don't attack me when I'm talking to the audience of free camping. Look, you can get out of the... See, even uh, even regular... Mo I hate... I hate it. Enough. I'm not going to mention... Yes, I am. I'm going to mention how much I hate it. So I'm going to build automatic things, I think. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build, like you know, cartways and stuff that go around. I think that's the best bit. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. You know, sometimes in life, distractions are a bad thing. Sometimes when you have to go to the nether to do a whole lot of work, <laughs> distractions are a good thing. I was just having a look. I was doing some stuff. Uh, so I was moving some items from in there, in my little storage area, over to the palace. And I was looking at this area over here. And I thought, you know why this path doesn't look good? It doesn't look good because it's just a path up against grass. What if we stuck down some like stone stuff, I'll leave a gap there, and some other stone stuff over here. Like, what if we gave an edge to our pathways? Maybe that's what this area is missing. So I'm going to do some of this, and I'm going to do it while you guys have to sit here and watch me do it. That's good fun, isn't it? Because it's better than better than the alternative. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna skip every couple of ones of those. I've got some other other blocks here that I'm going to throw into those. I don't like the way those little torches, the little lights are gonna sit, and I'm I'll have to work something out with those. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's put these down, and then we'll put some um, we'll put some different colours in between. Let's go all the way along here. This is very exciting. 
and we'll go up to the edge there that's good do we want to do no we don't want to do over there okay and let's throw some mossy in and we also have uh, the tough one as well you do this thing where you try and look like you're doing something random and then because you look like you're doing something random it becomes less random so <laughs> next to each of those I think it looks best to have a mossy one. Oh, good. I'm repeating a pattern. That's excellent. Good. And yeah, I think because I think the tough ones sort of stand out a little bit. But anyway, let me let me fast forward a little bit into this. Hang on a sec. Okay. Now with that done, I'm going to bone meal this section over here, and I'm going to do a lot of it. Right. So so not everywhere. I'm just going to spam it. Well, I am just going to spam it. Uh, I'm going to bone mill all of this. This is very simple stuff. Everybody knows how to do this. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to edit out some bits of it. But I want to get, I want to try and get some of the tall ones, but not a whole heap of the tall ones. So let's go through. Yeah, you get the idea, right? Like, <laughs> I just put it everywhere. And some up on this level as well. And... Yeah, I think that'll do. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to remove a lot of these tall ones and most of the yellow flowers and some of the red flowers as well. So the two high ones, the reason we remove these is they just look a little bit too much. Like they, they It looks a little bit like my backyard, which is hilarious if you know me. Um, if you don't, then it's not so funny. So I'm just going to keep doing this because I love doing this. This is good fun. Um, it's not great fun, but again, I'm just trying to avoid what else I'm meant to be doing. <laughs> I'll see you soon. That one there, and I think that'll do. I think that looks good. Like when you look over here at this one here, which looks like it's man-made, and this over here, which looks overgrown and everything, I think this looks a lot better. All of this is, however, as I've said many times already, just a distraction. I need to get into the nether, so I'm going to do that, and I'll see you there. Okay, I'm here. I've been doing it. I've been doing it. I put down tracks between Effendale and the tower, and out this way, I, I just hate having all this fire around. Okay, I'm... Down there is where I go for the ancient debris. Now, I've cleared out the fortress from over here, and it was horrible. There was stuff everywhere. And I could show you a time lapse of me doing that and me fighting guys and all the rest of it. But you know what? I have made a decision, and that is that this is stupid. This is the dumbest thing I've done in, I don't know, a day or two. This, it's just ridiculous the amount of mobs that spawn down here and how much everything hurts. And I'm tired of it. What I have never done in a solo player world before is I have never created a portal to the roof. But I think that in the terms of um, make the nether better, one of the things I could do is get out of this regular area of the nether where things are just going to spawn. Ghasts are going to be there. Things are going to come into the tracks. I just, I'm just done with it. I really am. I don't know if you can hear the frustration. I am sincerely, like, I just want to log off. I'm, I'm so done with this. So, I think I'm going to the roof. I, I, you know, I've been torching up stuff. I've been putting down stone things i've been doing everything and it's just nothing helps I, I i i just detest this so much so i think i think what i'm gonna i think what i'm gonna do once i put that block back is i'm going to work out how i'm going to get on the roof i'm going to need to watch a tutorial or something i know it's just ender pearls and things i'll get on this look i'll at least ride the track back and hopefully this time there will be no blaze around or no with a skeleton on my track or whatever like i just i'm just so done and those ghasts every time I... <laughs> yes Oda, you're right get over it i've been scared of the nether for 12 years time to get over it <laughs> 
but I just hate it. Um, so I, I'm going up. I'm going. I'm going to the roof. I'm going to work out how to do this. I'm just going up there. I'll see you when I've worked it all out. It looks like if I go around this pylon and then up, there's a gap up above me up here that looks like it goes up. Okay. All right. I have never been up here before. I did not write down the coordinates of the portals. Will that matter? No. So the plan is I'm going to work my way through here, find a spot where it goes up, and then I'm going to try and find bedrock. I'm presuming that the roof of the nether is sort of just beyond this. Uh, I've not I've not been up here before. So let's just dig this away. What we're going to do, we're going to use the ladder and the the ladder and the ender pearl method to get through i'm not a huge fan of glitchy things i presume that this is where the roof of... aha yes bedrock all right now um now what we need is a block which is at y level 127 i'm going to look on the right hand side of my screen targeted block that one there's 126 so we're in the right place. Let's just dig through. So one higher than that one there. <coughs> okay, that one there? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. 127. Okay. All right. I am sweating an awful lot for someone who's just going to do something that millions of people have done before me. However, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to put my ladders down on my bar because that's going to make this a lot easier. I'm going to clear all of that. Nothing's going to come up behind me. Stop worrying about it. And place down my ladders. And up. And was that a noise? It doesn't matter. Nothing, as I say, nothing. Sorry, guys. I am very nervous about doing this. If I go in here and then die... I'm not going to enjoy this. I do have a spare elytra. Now, if I get the ender pearl, and I just aim right at that corner there like that, and did I do it? Yes. I am... <laughs> I am halfway through. <laughs> I am one with the bedrock. I probably should move. I don't know if I can take damage here, but let's... Uh... Okay, this is my block. This is the one I'm going to try and remove. So I'm going to try and remove that block of bedrock and then I will have a way up and down while I do the silly stuff of working out portals and things like that. So give me a second to have a look at another tutorial again just make sure I've got this contraption right and then we'll get building and we'll get going. <laughs> All right I, I have fully armored up I have taken my shield out of my offhand I don't know why but I have um, oh, I have because I'm going to be right-clicking to try and place the piston that I have to place. Okay, let's... Um... <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Okay, I'm going to put obsidian there. I'm going to... This is the block I want to remove. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to place a piston facing up on there. I'm going to place... A block on there. I'm going to place... I'm nervous about just placing the TNT. <laughs> okay. TNT on both of those. We have a trapdoor on the top of there. We have a... Where are we? A lever there. I'm going to put the rest of the levers back in here. And... Oh, no. I need the spare piston. Um, everything I own is in this. If I die... Oh, man. Okay, so I want to wanna come here and I'm going to click that. They're going to go up. I'm going to crawl down here. Let's just, just test. Oh, no. See what? Don't push that. Okay. So there. And then we want to go do, 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 do. There. There. All right. I shouldn't die, right? I shouldn't die. I should not die. No, I just... It's not going to happen. I'm not going to die. Okay. Ah. Okay, we... 
push that, we push that. Oh, no. Oh, no, I put it too close. No, there's only one spot you can spawn and that would be on top of there. Do not. No, just shush. This is nerve wracking enough. <laughs> don't, please don't. Just, no, go away. What if I do it and then he's right down underneath? Did I get a lever? Oh, I didn't even get a lever. All right. I know I'm making a big fuss about this and you guys are all going, oh, this is easy, Zinkberg. I've done this a million times. Okay, piston in the hand. We're going to hit that, hit that, get underneath there. It didn't work. Wow, I took a bit of damage. But not too bad, not too bad. Okay, um, I feel like the right click thing isn't doing what it should do. Okay, we're putting that there. We're going to get ourselves in position roughly about there. Yeah, yes, okay. All right, let's try it again. Uh, with full health, yes. So we hit the key, do the thing, and push, 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 push. No. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I move over a little bit? There. It's just like a microsecond, apparently. But anyway, we hit that, we hit that, we go up, we... No. Okay, try again. That, that, and... Oh, it's not right way up, it's the wrong way. Why, why is it the wrong way, though? Okay, ready, and there, there. <gasps> is that the right way? Or is it upside down? What Was it upside down or the right way up? Uh, how do you get it the right way up? Uh, oh, I have the piston in my hand. Okay, we ready? Here we go. Yes, 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 first go, first go, first go, first go ever, first go ever. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, what? Why? But. But I did the thing. Hit the thing, hit the thing, hold up and. Okay. Still no. Okay, and oh, I feel like I'm a little bit too far over there. Okay, so click there, click there, up and top corner. I'm right on the edge of that. So it's in the right spot, like, and it's up the right way. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, very cool. So I wonder if it was, yeah, I wonder if it was because I was like one pixel over or something like that. Oh, now I put that roughly where I thought it should be. Let's, um, yeah. Oh, wow, geez, that's a relief. That is such a relief. Okay, we have slept. I have put a portal up on the roof to link this one up. And as we go through, there we go. Look at that. On top of the thing, and I can go back through and... I'm back in Effendale. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so we have another portal we need to do. And that portal is going... Am I just going to... I'm just going to do this over and over and over again. Um, that portal is the one for the tower. 
So we'll do that. We're going to go and get some more obsidian and things and get some stuff together and then go and do the portal for the tower. That's an important one. So I think we do something a little bit special for that one. Okay, uh, and here we are with shaders on and oh shush, I'm trying to talk to the people and it's not, is it even worth the fly? <laughs> fly over. <laughs> it's so close. I mean, now that I've put the shaders on, I can see how close all three portals are. It's, it's barely worth having three portals. Um, so this is the final product of the, of the tower, um, of the tower portal and and i really love this i really like the way this turned out so we learned a lot we we're always learning um i think i'm right on everything i've done here i think i've made this unspawnable and we'll see tell me if i'm wrong let me know in the comments if you think i'm wrong um so everything in this portal is either a carpet or a half slab or a path which that's my questionable one we can't spawn on paths can we i'm pretty sure we can't N anyway if anything spawns it's not a big deal but it's just a little bit of a deal um we have stone buttons occasionally if there is a full block um, which just to give it a little bit of break up in the shape and things like that of things uh, so there's a couple on that side too um leaf blocks Things can't spawn on leaf blocks. Things can't spawn where there are items. So we can't spawn there. I think we're good. Let's have a look at what we've done. We did... Oh, let me show off the little pond. Look at my little pond. Isn't that cool? Look, let's let's get back from it a little bit and, and have a look. So there's a little pond there. A um, little pool or something or a spa or something that's very exciting so making making the nether much more fun that's for sure um we've put some candles around to, to light up the area as well as the lanterns up there uh, i did put some vines down so here's a couple of things that i didn't know number one was that leaf blocks were going to be the dead leaf blocks i i didn't well not that i didn't know but i didn't think about it i also didn't think that the vines were going to come back in the dead sort of color either um, these are going to pose a problem the ones that i've put up in the tree oh and i built a custom tree uh oh that's the other thing i did to spawn proof i did some pressure plates here i did some um, trap doors up here and on the tree uh everything else i am pretty sure we are 100 percent spawn proof up here um yeah so i built a custom azalea tree which i love the look of the the dead vines coming off it sort of make it look more creepy than it would have if it wasn't and i think i think the vines are sort of going to take over i probably need to come here with a bit of string and sort of um remove some of like these ones here well i'll just remove them um and some of the ones off the tree because they're they're growing a lot more than i 
I wanted them to, but I'll I'll work something out with those. Um, yeah, so just some flowers in pots. I wanted to put flowers down, but again, I didn't want spawnable blocks. Pressure plates all along here. Um, some candles and things lit for a little bit of colour, just to give it a little bit of that red sort of look. I think, I think it looks really good, and I'd like to do more of this. It is a lot of work, because I'm not used to building in these spawn proofing type ways you know normally i just throw down some lights build the thing and then light it up around and everything um yeah i like the way this turned out and as i say i'd like to do more of this and i'd like to make this little oasis even more sort of a little bit bigger and a little bit more vibrant and i enjoy the challenge of of having to spawn proof as i go it's good um so we if we go through here we end up back at the tower just to confirm that that's all working the way it should. Yes, we do. There's a golem dying, that's good. Uh, there's Fleabag should be somewhere over there. Hello, Fleabag. He's just, he's totally ignoring me now. He's got no time for me anymore. Oh, dang. <laughs> hey, mate. <laughs> what a good boy. Um, okay, so we go back through. And... Where should we do the farewell? By the oasis? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. We have to go and see uh, Effendale. We have to go and see Randy the Frog. Oh, and I never showed you the um, the end product of what I did in Effendale. Look, I've been very slack here. Okay, we're all done there. Um, now, first of all, what I did over here. So uh, I, I did some more work on the paths and, and sort of putting some growth and things around. I'm not finished with all of this. This will be a work in progress, but um, did the raised sort of edges to the pathways up here and your know, little walls and things, and then put some grass around and some more of the flowers and things. And yeah, I think it just sort of adds to it. We're gonna take out some of these because we don't wanna block that view. That's such a, such a pretty view down that way. We've done a good job. I'm very happy with it. And we need to get in to see the frog. Perfect. Okay, uh, Randy the frog, what have we got for next week's episode? Hopefully you're giving me something fun. Find a black dog. Oh, that is good. We need to do that, but also I think we can, let's, uh, Put that there and let's, I think we can grab another one because find a black dog should not take a whole episode. And save the fox. Look, it's like an animal farm thing. Let's take a third. <laughs> I will do all of these. Use the palace chest. Well, we've sort of already been doing that. Look, I can down four of these in one week, I think. Let's go one more. Let's have a look. Fix the pathways. Well, we've sort of been doing that too. Look, this is all good and well to have a randomizer that does all the things, but when I just do stuff randomly, then it makes this thing a bit redundant. What about another one? Interior, stables. Okay, that's good. We can do that. So that is uh, this building up over here. We will do an interior and we will do a heap of all that other stuff too. So this is the stables up here. We need to do interiors inside here and upstairs as well this is the way up <laughs> all right so um let's where should we do the thing we should do the thing down over here i do like this area down here it's a very pretty area we can sort of see everything all around us and I can bother you with that first person perspective that we all hate. So I've got loads of uh, loads of things to have a look at for next week's episode. And we might have a look at doing some more of that. Uh, where am I? Doing some more of that oasis as well in the, in the nether. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. I, I love you all to death. You guys are fantastic. Um, next week will be a Craftworks episode. And hopefully we've got some fun and games to be had over there. Uh, yeah, thanks for your support, guys. I love you all to death. Have a great week, and I will catch you next week. 
See you later. Bye. Well, look at all the things in the background. Quick, look at all of the things. Oh, no, I punched a thing. Okay. Have we covered everything? We have. <laughs> all right, guys. See you later. Bye.